So yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kenny again for the Social Kenny's PYA Podcast Show. It's been a while, but hey, it's never too late. And I'm online with um David Coker. It actually took me about a year to learn how to pronounce his last name. So you know, bear with me. <laughs> so hey, what's up, Dave? Yo, what's and, up, Social Kenny, bro? Yeah, man, it's it's been ages. We were supposed to do a show dating back from like uh, a while, for a while ago, but it never happened. You know? Yeah, man, it's uh, you know stuff happened back in the day, but uh, yeah. But before we get started, I just I just want to be very vocal, and I just want to say like I absolutely love your show. Like I fucking love your show, bro. Like mm, it it literally it brings me to tears, and I'm crying sometimes because it's <laughs> like the the shit you. <laughs> oh man, that that's heartwarming, man. That's heartfelt, definitely. Yeah. I, <laughs> and, and real quick, Dave, um, just to give the the guys out there, quick rundown. You're actually the admin and the, I guess the yeah the 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 man the creator there at yeah the creator of um, made a frame be with you the the pickup lifestyle group right. Yep, that's that's right. It's been out for uh, it'll be a year this February, um, and that actually can correlate to the the main meal of the interview I think we'll do today and just. Pretty much just how it all started with that was I was friends with a lot of pickup artists on Facebook, and you can tell because, like, you'll get friend requests, and you can see you got, like, 70 mutual friends, and you know they're all pickup artists. Exactly. So so what I did was, is, like, I started adding all these pickup artists, guys, like, who have the same interests, and then I, I posted a Facebook status where I said, PUAs, comment below where you're from, and I got 138 responses from people saying what city they were exactly from. Wow. Okay. So from those 138 people, because here's the thing, if you got balls to comment on a post saying that you're a pickup artist, mm. then what would that look like to see all of those guys together communicating? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> and boom, may the frame be with you, was born. And I did that because I was doing some work for Bexter, and I was going to do some work for him in Mystery. And from then on, it just grew and grew. And then Mystery just became very active in the group. And, of course, you got a lot of fanboys in there. And they're just, like, super excited. Like, oh, my God, Mystery, Mystery. And it just grew and it grew. And it grew and it grew. And now the group is at 850, I'm sorry, 1850, 1,850 members. And, yeah, and, it's, I can, and I can tell you and I can say in full confidence, it is the most active Facebook group period, like, yeah. pay on pick, on pickup, like, whether people like it or not, they can say, oh, it's a fanboy group, or whether they can say it's, uh, whatever they want to say, it, it is what it is, so. Yeah, I just wanted to, yeah, I was actually gonna ask you about that as far as the activity, because I, as far as I gathered, it's one of the most, or the most active, you know, pickup groups on Facebook right now, or forum, yeah. you could basically say, you know, and, yeah, so I wanted to, to literally put that out there, and, Hey guys, if you want to get active, you could just check out the group and get joined up. You know, David would add you, or whoever else have the permission to add you up. And yeah, man, you can learn a lot from 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 actually, you know, meeting the guys and, and chatting and so forth, and learn a lot of game and, and lifestyle stuff. You know, so that's cool, man. Some cool shit right there, definitely. So what's up, man? What's um, what's been going on lately, bro? With the <laughs> Yeah, we actually had a long conversation last night. We had, we spoke for like it had to have been an hour plus about yeah. the, the the biggest drama right now in the community, and which actually <laughs> yeah, that, I mean it's I mean it's crazy. I mean I'm still in shock right now. I I'm literally I literally can't believe what actually went down last night or you know when mystery mystery is the one that broke the whole situation the the whole news. With you, of course, being the, <laughs> being the, um, what is it, the, um, help me out, help me out. <laughs> I know, the, you know, it's funny because we were talking yesterday, and the first thing that you said, you're like, DK, man, so, you're the new villain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off, I'm like, no, man, I'm not, 
I'm not, well, you know, I guess I could have been seen as the villain, you know, but, uh... <laughs> well, exactly, but, uh, but, yeah, well, um, Wayne Jordan is actually the, you know, the, the real villain here. <laughs> so, yeah, so, okay, man, let, let us know what really happened. Like, what, what went down? Like, Mystery made the post last night on Facebook. It was it last night, right, actually? Was it? Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. it was, it was yesterday afternoon. Oh, okay, yeah. So, break it down for us. What... What happened? Like, what happened? So this, so this is what this is what's been happening. Okay, what happened was that mystery put it out on the scene, and now everybody knows about it. Okay, so here's the thing. You know, normally, like, my my style is usually if I'm against somebody, I will not say their name. But like, I promised my my followers and the group. This is me raw. Like, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. So. It's 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 gonna go down, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna speak it how it is. Okay. True. true. So, <clears throat> part of like when you when you start to like add people, um, Wayne Jordan was was one of those guys, and you know of course I add a lot of other guys that are interested in, in pickup and. You know, I've met a lot of people in person, and I've sarged with them. I'm like, yeah, dude, I really like what you post on Facebook. You know what, dude? Like, you're in the, you're in town. Let's let's fucking let's let's hang out, okay? Yeah. So I see Wayne Jordan, and this guy, you you see him first glance, and he looks like the Messiah of like a pickup, or like he could be like like the African American Messiah of pickup. Like, oh my god. You. I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, I, I had that impression from, from when he first added me or I added him. It was a few years back. I mean, I got the same impression. I mean, this is like the master fucking seduction god. I mean, you could see it. It emanated, you know, from him. It just like, it was out there. Boom, you know? Yeah, so I, so I meet him and I'm thinking, you know, like I'm about to meet up with this guy. And then, you know, knowing from what I've seen, you look at his profile and he's just got girls girls, yeah. girls, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, fuck, dude, I'm like, I'm gonna hang out with this guy, this guy is probably, like, he's probably got better game than me, like, I'm, I'm thinking he's got better game than yeah, me, so I'm like, you know? you know, so I meet up with the guy, and, <sighs> okay, so I've, just to be very clear, I've only met him one time, that's okay. it. And that was recently, wasn't it, or a few No, weeks? this was, like, this was December, it feels like it was recent. But this was like December of of twenty fourteen. Wow, I thought it was actually about two or three months ago. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the thing. Like, I, like during that time and prior to that, like I think we became friends on Facebook like July of twenty fourteen, and then and then I was also friends with the uh, the other villain, Karina Keeley. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Wow. The <laughs> and we'll get into Karina in, in just a bit. <laughs> hey guys right after the show you will want to check out the most active and updated blog in the PUA world yes my blog I've literally been updating this personal blog of mine every single day for the last six years now all free content on every aspect of the game text game phone game bar and club game night game day game street game how to pull one night stands how to get instant dates from instantly attracting hot girls within minutes of the encounter learning pickup has never been this simple so after you will have enjoyed this episode of the social Kenny's POA podcast show check out Kenny's POA blog my blog at www.kennyspoathoughts.com So, not sure how to hook and keep a girl interested by mere texting? You'll find tons of free content on how to text girls from text to sex at www.kennyspoathoughts.com Okay, hey. so like hey. I was saying about mystery, I gotta give mystery credit because he came out and he said what happened to him okay yeah you know it's like he, he put that out there where it's like you know it's not 
it's yeah, you know, it's embarrassing and funny what happened to me, but it's all about the shame and the shame of Wayne Jordan. Okay, so Karina Keeley, okay, you guys have probably been approached PUA coaches, okay, and I'm gonna sk- I'm just gonna cut straight to the point. This is what it is, okay. Karina Keeley is really Wayne Jordan. Okay. Now I know some guys are coming out and saying, "No, dude, how can that be, bro? She sent me nude. She sent me <laughs> naked pictures." Okay. Well, I'm gonna exp- I'm gonna get into the depth of that. And I, and I just I actually drew some bombshells. I threw some bombshells into Fly PUA, formerly known as Anna PUA. I threw it into her Five Moons lesbian pickup artist experience. I threw that in there, and I have screenshots where he he literally admits that he actually catfish the real girl. Who I'm not going to say because, like I said, I don't even know if this girl knows what's really going on. Yeah, that's he's true. putting that, he's putting it out there that oh yeah, like I have this girl next to me, and you know she asked me to write statuses for her. like his his whole story is so incongruent. Wow, but the thing is though, so Anna or Fly PY, she doesn't actually buy that that um, Kelly is is Wayne, or she doesn't buy it, or what. Really? I don't. I don't know. I think that maybe she does, and she's just let it go, and she's like forgiven him. You know, like she put it out on her video where she's like, you know, like some of you guys are are upset because of this whole catfish thing, and you know, and it's just, and then this is what she said. She's like, it's fucked up that you know some of you guys went 180 on Wayne, and I'm thinking to myself, well, okay, you know, like I'm I'm surprised. Which I gotta say, I'm I'm surprised and I'm I'm impressed because. Like old school Anna PUA, like I think she would have been like, "What the fuck is this?" Like yeah. she would have been like, going, yeah, "You know, that's true." <laughs> really, when I think about it. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Honestly, I'm surprised. So whatever, you know. Honestly, g- good for her if she's, um, you know, gonna come out and, and make that semen. That's fine. But I'm just gonna say, well, hey, well, what about the guys who sent out dick pics, yeah. thinking they're talking to a girl? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So. so- so Anna, in a sense, felt that we threw Jordan under the bus. We threw Wayne under the bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that, yeah, well, probably, yeah, basically, that's, that's how Anna feels. And I, I, in, in a sense, right, I think it's, it's, it's part of like, and by the way, we're not gay bashing. It was never about that. But I think partially, is, you know, Anna's a lesbian, and the whole thing is out there where Wayne is looked at as the gay guy in pickup. So... You know, I guess in a sense it's sort of part of that why Anna feels she, you know, Fly P.O.A. feels that she has to defend Wayne because if he's touted as the, the gay guy in pickup, then it's only natural that she would come towards defense. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. That's true. That's true. And, and, who know, and who knows? But you know what, though? Like, at the end of the day, you know, I have a lot of respect for Anna. She's actually been a very big supporter of mine. And even with, like, all the commotion and chaos that happened between my former uh, co-host of the podcast, she still stuck by. Like, there, I mean, I was getting hate left and right, but she still said, all we have to do is trust David. We may not know what's going to happen, but we just have to trust him. And I got to say, and if you're listening to this, I fucking love you. Like, I literally, I, I, I love her. You know, like, wow. I know she might, she might have like a, you know, she might have like a, a mouth to say things when she gets pissed. <laughs> but through it all, you know, like I'm cool with her. She's cool with me. Yeah, we might have differences of who we look up to in regards to pickup. But, you know, I'm, I don't have anything bad to say about her. And, and she, even today, too, she stuck up for me. And, like, Wayne was, like, throwing, you know, some stuff at me. And she, like, came out to defend me. So, you know what? Like, Anna, uh, fly PUA, I, I fucking love you. Okay. And shout out, fuck, shout out to Genghis Jeff for getting with that <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah that yeah definitely he deserved a trophy man that's that that was um yeah that was a lot of props right there so um so wayne is um posting again basically um, wayne he's Jordan. posting again yeah but it's like it's like if if your story's so valid then why did you deactivate your facebook oh oh and why did karina's account yeah, get deactivated too yeah she just disappeared you know off the map Cause she's been friends with me for a while now. I never actually try to game her or game him. You know, I, this shit is sort of crazy. But I never actually <laughs> try to game her. Her, but you know, she like fell off the map since yesterday. Since the whole thing just blew up. You know, since Mystery brought it out and you brought it out. I mean, Karina Kelly just disappeared. 
So it all seems suspect, you know, that Wayne disappeared at the same time too. So, you know, right. it's just crazy. So basically it's like, you know, mystery got catfish and, you know, so he found out about it. You were the whistleblower and mystery dropped the bomb on the whole thing. But, and, and what's up with the guy, um, Osman, Osman from, um, he's from California, I, I want to believe. And y'all had met at one point. At the, yeah, it, some katsu the night, place? yeah, the night, oh yeah, and here's the thing too, like he, I know he, he's going to want to listen to the interview, so here's the thing, um, Os, Osman, he's a really great guy, okay, and um, that night that I met Wayne, this this is how it all started, okay, now I, everyone's, everyone's acting like this stuff happened yesterday, but believe it or not, it's actually, it was, it's been unraveled in my group about three months ago, but Mystery wasn't in my group for some time because he had to take care of some stuff, but now he's back in. And I Skyped with him yesterday. We were, we were talking for two hours, just shooting the shit, you know, and he's in better spirits. He wants to, you know, get out, come back to the scene. Good for him, honestly. And he's, yeah. He said he's got, some, uh, he's got some new, he's got a couple of new products that he wants to put out. He says, like, yeah, you know, everyone thinks that, you know, like, they've been seeing what I put on Facebook. But he says, like, he even told me behind the scenes, he's been working on some, like, next level shit. So I'm really curious to see when that comes out. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, mystery. I mean, he has to be back on the scene. And like I said, his posts over the past few days have, you know, it's been more upbeat and more, you know, more positive, we could say. Yeah, but in regards, in regards to us men, so how it worked yeah. out, this is, this is how it all went. This is how I found out first that Karina was fake. Okay, so I meet up with Wayne. You know, I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm going to meet up with this, like, yeah. uh <laughs> yeah. Master pickup artist seductionist, yeah. I know. It's like, yeah, man, watch out, Madison Monroe. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I'm, I'm, so I'm about to, which I gotta say, uh, shout out to Madison. Um, he likes some of my stuff. Uh, you know, he's been a, uh, he's been giving me some admiration. I, I, I want to give him some love too. Shout out Madison Monroe if you're listening to this. Good for you. Oh, yeah, um, you know, and what you're doing. But um, with uh, with the whole Usman thing, so I meet. I'm about to go and I meet. Uh, Wayne and I meet his girlfriend and I'm not gonna drop her name because I, I want to leave her out of this actually I think she's she just got caught up in the things you know but okay. uh, you're a gentleman you're a gentleman yeah yeah, yeah. so um so freaking um we yes. so go up and, I, and I meet up with him and then uh, I had a fallout with another coach and that was like part of my that was uh part of my weekend I was like fuck man like I got a fallout with this coach you know, I don't fucking understand like why there's like tension between him and I. Yeah. So then I, so then I go to, I go to Wayne, and then uh, you know, I tell him like, man, dude, I had like such a fucking crazy weekend, man. Like, I just don't want to talk about it. Like, it's a, it's a secret. And then he's like, oh, really? He's like, well, I got a secret too. Now, when I first met him, there was something that just didn't seem congruent. Okay, and another friend of mine on Facebook named uh, Edward Boyd, he had a similar encounter. He was he, even in his post, like he met up with him. Also, I think he's like the yeah. only other guy that I know that made it public that he met up with him. Yeah, you know? that's true. But so Edward met before you or like that was after you and, and Wayne met. This was um I would say that say that one more time. So who met first? Edward met uh, Wayne I, I first met, or you I met, met Wayne first? Oh you met Wayne I first. I met Wayne okay. first, yeah. I think I know that Edward met Wayne afterward. Okay. So I go yeah, so um with with this uh, with this chick, so then I pretty much we, we exchange secrets, right? I tell him who the coach was, and me and the, that coach are on good terms now. So there's even there's no point in, of me like bringing that back up. But I shared that with him, and then he says, "Oh, um, you know, Karina is not real." I'm like, "Okay," and yeah, then like how I'm do you like, "Take that." I mean, how do you like like? You you want like how do you take that? Was it like did you interpret it to mean like Karina isn't realizing she's a fake bitch or it was sort of like I mean how do you take that? I'm curious. I honest like it took me it took me a day. I I, I was like I, yeah it took me a day to process it. I didn't know how to come out of it because I mean here's here's another thing too like as fucked up as it is like even mystery said it. There's clever, which is clever, and then there's clever, clever, which is like, dude, that's like really like fucked up like what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and at some, here's the thing, at some level, 
and and being very honest, I can say I could. There's something that I can actually admire about that yeah, because it takes there's intelligence. It takes it takes intelligence to pull shit like that off. I mean, honestly. Yeah, exactly. So, to me, I'm thinking to myself, you know, and 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 you have to understand too. In my mind, what's been uploaded because of Facebook is that this guy not only knows pickup, but he's also like a strategist. Like he's. Uh, he's into philosophy. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got that image, and right? The psychology, and, and and if I'm correct, isn't like he a uh, wannabe lawyer or something like of that sort? From what he says, yes. What it actually yeah. is, to be to be honest with you, I don't, I don't, I don't even fucking know. Like, I honestly, like, all I know is that that's the shit that happened with Karina, and that tells me all I need to know. Like, that's it. You know. Wow. So, I mean. So when you met, so basically, yeah, I met up that night at what was the place you 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 um? We met up in in Hollywood. There was like some hotel in Hollywood that, um, like near Hollywood that he checked in, and I met up with them, and then we took a, a drive from there to Hollywood, and then that's where I got to meet Usman for the first time. And how he got to meet Usman was through, uh, I believe, was through the Karina thing. So here am I, I'm having dinner with Usman. Wayne and his quote unquote girlfriend and oh. Usman mentioned the girlfriend in, in one of the posts on Facebook. So Right. I guess oh and he wanted to know the relationship or well, what was the deal with her. Right. So in the beginning I was like I was introduced to her that that's his girlfriend. Okay. That's his girlfriend. So I'm thinking, oh okay, cool, that's his girlfriend. They're kissing in front of me. Wow. And then you know, and like, but it was like kind of like, I, I don't know, it was like, okay, cool, he's really making it known to me that that's his girlfriend. <laughs> you know, good. <laughs> he's kissing the ground. She's really attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, didn't look, it didn't look scripted or anything, or? Um... I, don't, I don't think it was like, it was scripted. So then like, um, so then throughout the night, like, then he tells me that, oh, actually, you know, she's not really my girlfriend. She's actually my BFF. And I'm like, okay. So then he switches a story on me, okay? And then, and then... Yeah, I think we, last night, we, when we first spoke about this, you mentioned something about, like, being a virgin as far as, um, wing goes, like... <laughs> that's what I was, was going to say next. <laughs> yeah, how, like... I mean, I don't even know how I would process that because, like, hey, like I said, hey, we're, this we're guy, in the car. We're in the mm. car. We're in, we're in the car. We're, we're about to go to Hollywood hookah, okay? Yeah. It's, and then Usman, uh, he didn't meet up with us there. We only had dinner with Usman, and then he had to leave because he's a very busy guy. Usman, if you're listening, shout out to you, man. Uh, I hope all is well with you, and I, I'm glad that we can all laugh about this. True. <laughs> so, yeah, so then... Uh, so we were on our way to Hollywood hookah, and then, you know, Wayne's in the car, and then, then he, then he th- tells me this, that he's a virgin. And I'm like, I, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm like, oh, this doesn't make fucking sense. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> like an enigma. I mean, like, he's taking you left, right. It's like, I mean, you put out an image that you're a master sedu- seductionist, and on the other hand, you're a virgin. Like, that can't fucking be. Exactly. So in my mind, I'm, and then we went out to a venue... And, uh, you know, and I'm thinking, okay, so what, what's, what's, like, I'm, uh, what's the deal? Like, you know, like, I see him, he's going out, he's socializing. I, I'm the one that's going out, like, we're at the W Hotel, and we're just going out, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually the one that's, that's approaching sets. I'm like, you know, I'm doing, doing over the shoulder, doing my, my thing, oh, you know, but he's yeah. doing it, but he's, but the, one of the things that he said was, like, he, he had said that he was gay to the girls that he was talking to, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, that's probably, like, you know, the... The old school way, you know. Yeah, oh, so like, an opener. That's an old opener, you know. One of the yeah, classic so if openers. Was, yeah, if I wasn't gay, you'd still be mine. And yeah. then, like, you know, t- time goes by, and then, you know, you say, oh, well, that was actually my brother, and, yeah, you know, exactly. blah, blah, blah. So that was part yeah. of his routine. Well, I mean, well, you would take it as it's part of his routine. Yeah. yeah. So... <sighs> so yeah, where but, are we going? <laughs> yeah, but so it's like, but... Like, what I want to find out is, like, from that night where, where y'all dudes were hanging out or whatever, like, you never had the slightest inclination that, you know, I mean, differently than what we just spoke about, that something was off as far as, you know, like, the vibe. I mean, like, he wasn't chatting up any sets, you said. Yeah, he wasn't chat. He wasn't really chatting up any, like, sets. Like, he was just, like, just... 
talking to people, and he was, like, drinking. But then he would tell, like, girls, like, that he was gay. And I'm thinking, okay, like, that's probably, like, your opener to, like... Hey, guys. Right after the show, you will want to check out the most active and updated blog in the PUA world. Yes, my blog. I've literally been updating this personal blog of mine every single day for the last six years now. All free content on every aspect of the game. Text game, phone game, bar and club game, night game, day game, street game, how to pull one night stands, how to get instant dates from instantly attracting hot girls within minutes of the encounter. Learning pickup has never been this simple. So, after you will have enjoyed this episode of the Social Kenny's POA Podcast Show, check out Kenny's POA blog, my blog, at www.kennyspoathoughts.com. So, not sure how to hook and keep a girl interested by mere texting? You'll find tons of free content on how to text girls from text to sex at www.kennyspoathoughts.com. Yeah, man. So basically the whole, you know, whatever I'm gay thing or, you know, that's usually, like I said, just for those who don't know, that's like a classic POA routine opener or whatnot. You know, false disqualifier. You make it appear that to the girl that, hey, I'm not trying to hit on you. I'm not trying to, you know, whatever, get into your pants like every other guy is because after all, I'm gay. But it's not actually, you know, that you're gay. It's just a routine to throw the girl off. Then you eventually break it to, hey, I'm not gay. Just my brother is whatever the case is. And you seduce her from there on. So you basically thought that that was the deal when it comes to, you know, Wayne telling girls, you know, or telling you that he was gay or telling the girls that, Whatever it might have been, that you interpreted to be just that. You didn't take it literally that, you know, you know, he might be gay. Yeah, but this is where this is where things like I didn't I didn't immediately suspect that. That was the thing. Like and I you know, I, I, I didn't I like to me gay didn't come like right away. Like I had my like I had like this like okay, something's off. Something's mm. off, but I, but gay didn't come to me until like like two three days later or something like that, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, I started getting messages from like uh, girls on Facebook saying like yeah he's like being weird and, and and all that type of stuff. But then there was one dude named Max who knows him from his city, and he said that this Karina chick is fake. He's like I figured it out. He's like I did the Google. back to the original sender and he's like it's not even crazy it's some other shit named Brittany in like fucking Texas wow. so he he figured that out and then he told his friends who were also talking to Karina Healy and then he told me like dude you have no idea he's like my friend is like barfing in the toilet right now because he just sent like dick pics to Karina Healy and my mom, that's when I was like okay what the fuck like wow. what the fuck <laughs> because it's like if he's sending out dick pics in my mind I'm thinking if, okay I understand you got this chick that you want to fucking you know like have access to to special places yeah but if you're really a, uh, an MP away or like even afterwards saying that you're a virgin and if you're straight why the fuck would you like, would you receive dick pics why would yeah. you use the- yeah that, that's just like <laughs> isn't even necessary that's it, it just it doesn't it's not congruent it doesn't add the fuck up yeah man so that's when i knew that's when i knew that something's up now do i think he's gay no i think maybe he's bi because i know that there was like another chick who again i'm not going to say um but she was like coming to me saying like yeah like he's like being all stalkerish and shit so I don't, I don't wouldn't well, say he's gay. Maybe he's like... Yeah, true. Probably not full-blown. And, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, realistically. I'm not trying to, like, <laughs> you know, be a dick here. But, I mean, he, he you know, he might not be full-blown, if anything. So, I mean, because, you know, why would he be stalking a chicken and so forth? So there, there might be some, some, some logics to that. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty much... 
uh, that with there. So then from then on, I just kept my, my distance from him. And then he would, like, I, I never hung out with him after that. But he would always send messages to me. But from then on, like... My whole style, like I'm gonna tell you, like right now, like I could, I have like my messages logs to show you everything. I've got nothing to hide for. Like I'm, I'm raw and real. If if that comes to that point, you know what I'm saying. So oh, yeah, I've got, yeah, like he he's messaging me, and now I'm playing. Like there's like one of my favorite books is the Forty Laws of Power, and there's one law where it's like uh, I'm summarizing it, but it's like play a sucker to catch a sucker. So he's oh. messaging me. And I'm just going along with it just to see what he tells me. But it's yeah. like, okay. So okay. at that point, you was already skeptical about something. Just not quite sure what it was at that point. Yep. Mm. And then from then on, once I got the message from the guy Max and then these other girls, I'm like, okay, that's it. Uh, we're done. And, and girls were telling me that he was telling other like people that I was his best friend. And I'm like, I only hung out with the dude one time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I know I look like the man on Facebook. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, it's it's uh, you know, it just. Uh, but but the, the thing is, like, I just I'm I'm glad that I'm coming out to speak out about it because uh, again, I've known for some time. But when mystery like put it out there like that, you know, and I had to tell yeah. mystery. Well, that's what you I know? was. Yeah, that's that was gonna be my other point. Like. How did Mystery find out? I mean, you okay. broke it to Mystery, basically. I broke, I broke it to him, yeah. So, Mystery, like, right now, like, in the group, May the Frame Be With You, like, we're trying to figure out how we can help him, okay? So, I've Skyped with him before, and I, I talk to him every now and then. You know, like, him and I have, like, that stuff going on. Okay. Cool. But, but when we Skyped, uh, he sent me a message of a blonde chick. He's like, oh, check out this girl. You know, what do you think? Like, she's hot, right? So that triggered, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta fucking tell this guy. But did you know it was Karina from the picture? Or, oh, well, you know, well, I guess Wayne oh, it was different, as Karina? Different. It was a different, it wasn't Karina. It oh, was a different, different girl. Oh, but, different. but she had blonde hair, and that triggered me. I was like, oh shit, because he made a post on his Facebook like two, three days ago about Karina. And in my mind, I was like, oh shit, dude, like he doesn't know like that, that that's not <laughs> real. Wow. So then I told him, I'm like, yo, like Eric, I gotta tell you, bro, like, like, that girl Karina is fake, and it's being ran by this guy. Oh, and at God. first he was, he was like, first he was like, no way. I'm like, yeah. And then we, I explained to it thoroughly, and he's like, and it all makes sense. He's like, because he started messaging me that day, asking me, like, what's going on with him and Karina. And mind you, like, you know, he's been talking to this chick for some time, you yeah. know. And it was, and, but the, I will say this about Mystery, like, he's, he's laughing about it. You know, oh, he's laughing okay. about that, it. That's and, good. That's good. Yeah, he's laughing about it, but at the same time, too, he's also saying, like, that's, like, disgusting shit. You know, and it was just funny because I was Skyping with him, and then when I broke it down to him, he's like, dude, this is, like, fucking fucked up. He's like, I feel like that there's this, like, black dick over my shoulder. <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but we were, la we were laughing about it. We were laughing about it. And, uh, I, you know, I, <laughs> I just... Oh man, you know, uh, so I'm, I'm just <laughs> No, it's good that he can laugh about it. I mean, it's yeah. Wow, it's like I mean, but but the thing is here though, uh, this is a question I wanted to ask. Like, and I wanted to ask Mystery like how long were they interacting? Like Karina and Mystery. Karina which I I don't I don't know. I'm actually I'm doing this interview on behalf of Mystery cuz okay, you know, cool. Yeah, so he told me, like, you know, yeah, you know, you should you should say something, you should speak on it, and, you know, I've known about it for a long time, it just unraveled about three months ago, when I found out, I did tell people in my closest, like, inner circle about it, okay. but it just, it just never, it just never got up, it just never got out on this level like this. So you never planned to actually put it out on this date, this time, and so forth, it was never that, with that intention? It was never that intention, like... I, I just I told people in my closest circle I'm like watch out for this, and then that was that, and then it, it blew up in my group a little bit, not as big as now. Yeah, but did but you did might... you get any slack though, as far as guys saying, you know what, um, David is probably being a hater or he's probably trying to slander this dude. I mean, like you got like negative feedback. Uh, honestly, no, because 
when Mystery put it out there, because here's the thing, despite Mystery, like, with what's been happening with him, he still has authority, you yeah, know what I'm definitely, saying? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So it's like, it's like, you know, Mystery could have, like, the even worse problems than what he's been having, but because he has that name and that reputation and his accomplishments, it's going to override everything, you know? So it's like Wayne Jordan compared to Mystery, you know, when it comes down to who's going to want to have people be their pickup coach, they're going to choose mm-hmm. Mystery, Oh, yeah, and, for sure. and even now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wow. So, and basically, like I said, uh, to, to, to summarize on that point, Mystery got catfish, and he felt that it was like uh, a low blow. And, you know, so he took it took it to the public as far as, you know, Facebook and, and dropped a little notice to the whole pickup community that, hey, this guy's a fraud. We need to watch out for him. And, you know, so that's basically where that ended there. But the thing that, that I found interesting, though, was that you said he met up with, um, or he went into, like, some joint venture business stuff with um, the infamous <laughs> Luis Ramos. <laughs> how did that, like, how did, like, what, what happened with that deal? Because they did meet up, right? Uh, yeah, from what, I, from what I understand, they, they met up and he gave me some info about, Luis, like he, like he even put on his on his profile that he was working for illegal dating science. And in my mind, I'm thinking, like, okay, even and this is where this is where I begin to lose trust with him on a strategist and and a, and a thinker, because it's like you're putting out that persona that you're this master pickup artist, and this is this is separate. This is separate from everything that happened between him and I. Okay, why would you? I mean, yeah, like why would you know Luis? And Luis, if you're listening to this, like, I'm sorry, bro, because we're, we're actually cool. So sorry, sorry for this, Luis. And I mean, I'm, 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 I'll, I'll be real, sorry, but I just didn't expect, like, Wayne Jordan, someone of that stature to actually merge or, you know, with, with Luis Ramos. I, like, I didn't see, I just don't see it. I don't fucking see it. So That's I actually suggested... <laughs> So when Luis was going on his like his 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 nationwide tour, I was actually um, telling Luis, "Hey, since you're heading to California, why not meet up with Wayne Jordan? I mean, it's only natural you're going to California." So, but I never knew if they actually met or not. Yeah, he had, he had told me that he had met like through the messenger. He, he said that that he met up with Luis, and then you know that was another thing too. Like he was uh, he was mentioning that like oh yeah, like look. Luis uh, is uploading this porno with uh, a hooker he did in, in Dominican Republic, you know, and in my mind, and I was like, again, in my mind, I'm like thinking to myself, dude, what, okay, like, it, it, why are you sending me porn? Yeah, exactly, yeah, of, like, where's this, this Louis, going? You know what I'm yeah, where's like, this going? Yeah, and, uh, you know, and even, like, uh, just, like, looking back, man, it's like, fuck, man, it's just, it's just, it's uh, it's sick. The, yeah, the, no, you, get, lot- you sort of get this impression that it's like a feel out process, you know, where he's like trying to feel you out to feel where you're at, you know, mentally, psychologically, or you know, like, you know, your sexual orientation. Let to let's be real, you know, it's like, you know, this feel out process. Yeah, and and even Karina Keeley, that's another thing too. It's like I was having conversations with Karina Keeley, but I can show you the logs. And, and here's another thing to do. This, this is the ultimate lesson that, that needs to be learned, okay, from all this. It's like, it, it amazes me how guys still get catfished even today. It's like, guys, if you're talking to a girl and she's a fucking, like, HB 9 or 10, okay, and if she's getting sexual with you, first of all, if you know pickup and game, mm. if, a girl's get, if a girl of that caliber is getting too sexual with you too fast, mm-hmm. that's a fucking red flag. Exactly. It's a red flag automatically. That's like, hello, that's a fucking red flag. I mean, you're not going to get an HB6 throwing themselves at you, let alone a fucking 10. You know, it's like, come on. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly. No, exactly. You know, so I never, I never became, I never, like, sexualized with the girl. You know what I'm saying? Well, first of all, too, I mean, and I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking, because, like, you got you to, like, understand, too, it's like, I'm talking to this girl. She's tagging me in her Facebook post, and which I liked because that's a DHV for me. Yeah, exactly. That's the, I mean, that's a DHV. That's <laughs> so a big fucking DHV. Yeah. So girls are tagging me, and, I, and I'm having girls asking me, hey, "Who's this Karina chick?" You know. 
perfect. That it worked. Wow, that's perfect. Perfect. I wasn't complaining. I wasn't. I wasn't fucking complaining. You know. So she's messaging me, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, she's liking my my statuses. She's messaging me, but I always had it from day one talking to to Karina or Wayne. Now that we know oh, that I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna sexualize because I'm thinking to myself, well, man, dude, like maybe I could, like you know, maybe I could fucking do it. You know, I'm, <laughs> it, it, it it crossed my mind, uh, but I never sexualized with her because I mean, you gotta understand, I, like the girls got like, or oh, I'm sorry, Wayne, oh, <laughs> Wayne as Karina oh, <laughs> has got like a she's got like 198, like 250 yeah. likes. What? So I. I by the, you know she's bombarded with dick pics. You know yeah, she's bombarded. Exactly. Yeah, so so it's like to get like to get her throwing throwing herself at you. I mean, you know, I mean the average dude is like, you know, that's red fucking flag, dude. Yeah. Wow. And, so that was yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people has been saying like one of the well one way in which they knew that something was up with this Karina chick is. She hardly posted any photos like, you know, that chicks post shit like, oh, they're eating and, you know, they're like doing normal stuff that chicks do, you know. She wasn't posting any such photos. And yeah, no, exactly. And that's and that's another thing, too. And it's funny, too, because like this is something I should have picked up even then. But some guy who uh, who brought it up to me about it being a catfish. He says, well, look at the posts of Karina's and look at Wayne's. They're, like, almost identical. Wow. I never, I never actually, I never took a look at that. Yeah. Really interesting. Yeah, like, the like same language patterns, you know, same exact language patterns. And it's, like, there's no way, I mean, is it possible? Yeah, but it's, like, there's no way a girl can be that smart being so young, you know, like. Yeah, exactly. Uh, That's another thing. That's another thing right there. Wow. So I was, yeah, so like that, you know, that's, that's the whole deal with Wayne. That's what happened uh, with my interaction with him. Um, and uh, on another note, um, David, and this is what I asked Edward Boyd. I asked Edward earlier, like, um, what is, what, what is the, the motive? All right, we hear everything. We, we, we hear all the sides and all the drama and shit like that. But my question overall was, what the fuck was Wayne's motive? Like, was it like to get? I mean, Edward said it was to get fucking dick pic because he's gay, but like, what's what's the motive? Like, I'll, t- I'll tell you. I'll tell was you. Was it like a scam or a scheme? Because I actually wrote a post on my blog about this. I published it earlier, and my my thing is, or what I ultimately gathered was, this was sort of like a scheme. You know, it was a big scam. Well, you know, it, it was Wayne's scam and. You know this what what it was. It was to to to, to extra. I actually I actually heard that he made money from the dick pics or the nudes of Karina or whoever the chick was, who he was sending out. So it was sort of an elaborate type of um scheme, if you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's the thing, and like there there are a lot of guys that are coming out. They're like saying, yeah, dude, like you know, like. I paid you. I, I, I like PayPal to you forty bucks because you couldn't pay your tab at the bar or something like that. Yeah, yeah I mean it's, it's, <laughs> it's like, crazy. Oh. Guys like literally coming out the woodwork, and I I had no idea that this shit would actually work. You well, you know what though? They, but uh, you know the the thing is though the ultimate reason why everything worked out for him during that time, and I'll tell you, and I and I understand this because I can. I can credit my status now the same way he did. It's all it's all about status True. and image. True. And well, DHV. I mean, in a sense, you know what I mean? D- DHV. Exactly, and and that's the thing. That's the thing about I can I can see that because I I see that in me as well. Every time he posts, it's like okay, pictures with girls, something intelligent, exactly. which I'll be on. Which I never understood half the time. Well, me neither. To be honest, I, I would read I would read Wayne Jordan's post and I would say, "Fuck, I want to comment, but I don't even know where to start because I don't understand. I don't understand where to go, how where it's going. I don't, I really don't fucking get it. So I'm there feeling like dumb because I can't relate to this like this super intelligent post. So I, I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one that felt. Like that. No, you're not, bro. You're not. You're not. <laughs> So that's the thing. So it's like that's the power of image, 
and 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 I, and I function the same way too. Like if I'm having a shitty day, mm. and believe me, I'm human. I can be vulnerable. I I've got them. The world. It's not the world's business to fucking know. That's period. True. true. You know, and that's the same. Th- that's the same thing with Wayne. And so it's like that's that's how I think we both operate. Now I'll tell you one thing. The old the ultimate motive out of all this, I believe. Even now, he's like even saying like, well, it's better be talked about. It's better to be talked about than to be ignored. So it's like with him, this whole thing, it's all about fame, dude. That's what he wants, and that's like he wants like that status of like Dan Bilzerian and and all that type of and shit. Even the Julian Blanc, the whole like you know the the whole drama and fame thing. Yeah. So even now. He's strategized, but I'm gonna tell you, like, he's just, he's too sloppy. He's too sloppy. Like, he's too sloppy. Like, like, you know, like, even like after all this, like, I'm, I'm glad I'm talking about it now because it's like I can put it behind me. Yeah, I true. Can, I can put it behind me, and at least I have a clear conscience knowing that I came out and I said something. You know, yeah, I don't want to be like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to have that rep. Well, David Coker, he never said anything. Well, it's like, hey, well, here I got this recording. This is what it's up. Mm-hmm. So it's like I don't, I. I believe that's what the ultimate ultimate motive was was to talk about fame, and he even said a comment like about like oh yeah, well now I have like twenty thousand followers, which is like more than David and Eris combined. Which I will challenge to say that all of those are are paid and fake. It's like nobody gets one hundred and ninety three likes in two minutes. I'm sorry. Yeah, somebody mentioned that too. I think it was a guy named Nick Chen on one of the on Mysteries posts. He was saying how somehow Wayne probably bought or generated those likes through some sort of you know some some third party means or whatever but i used to wonder like how the fuck he got 300 likes in that short span of time for literally posting just nothing it's like it blew my fucking mind dude i'm like like you got 300 likes for that that's crazy. Yeah, so he gets 300 likes in two minutes, and then three hours later, it's still 300 likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. If you're getting 300 likes in three minutes, <laughs> motherfucker, you should be at like 50,000 likes in yeah, right. hours. <laughs> All right. So this is where I get why you said that. Okay. He, there, there, there are loopholes within his whole, his whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's little loopholes and shit like this that make, you know, okay, cool. He has his scheme, he's intelligent, but there's still loopholes and and gaps in his whole thing, basically. He's sloppy, and, yeah. Yeah, he's sloppy, yeah. He's, he's sloppy, and, you know, not only is it fame that he wants, but it's like, also, it's like, even Mystery said it too, and Usman agreed with it also. It's like, it's just like that, that uh, uh, um, it's homoerotic for him. It's like, okay. those... He knows that he's got these guys, you know, like like on the tip of his string, and it's like they're they think they're talking to a girl, but it's really him. And he's he's like Karina's like the puppet. He's the puppet master, and he's getting ultimately what he wants. And you know, I'm I'm sure that there are a lot of guys which out there. Which is what? That, like, I mean, fuck. which is what? Like, is it money or is it like a sexual? Like, Both. Um, sex, sex and money. Sex and money, and at the ultimate goal of it, fame. You know. And who knows? Maybe he'll. You, you know, come out of it, you know, but I mean, like, uh, like... So you think, so you think he expected this to blow up, or he, I mean, he wanted this to blow up? Well, I don't know if he expected it to blow up, because here's the thing, if he expected it to blow up, why did he deactivate his Facebook account? True, why did the, true, why did the girl... Why did Karina disappear? Exactly. True. Good point, good point. So I really don't think he expected or wanted it to blow up, at least not in this fashion. Yeah, because it's like, if you really expect it, it's like, okay, yeah, why were you messaging Mystery, like, the same day? You know, and it's like, and this is after, this is after it's already been exposed. Like, this is after, like, like, this was maybe, like, two, three months ago with, with in my group where people talked about it and they knew it. And mm. he still, and, 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 and it, like, the cat came out of the bag and he still kept it. So it's like, my, and I, and I, it wouldn't surprise me if he still kept it even after all this uh, blowout. It wouldn't, yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, exactly. And you say he's back posting again, right? Because I actually thought I was surprised when I seen his profile today, earlier today. I, I mean, someone mentioned during one of the posts from Mystery that you know they're still friends with um, Wayne Jordan, and I was like, that can't be because I checked, I was looking for his profile like yesterday, and I couldn't find it. 
So I happened to text again and I seen Wayne Jordan. I'm like, oh shit, he's back again. But I never seen him posting anything actually since since he came back. I never seen him post. Yeah. Well, I think he posted something about like I don't know. Like I just taking shots at you indirectly or something. Well, like he that? tried to post uh, in my group and then I I uh, deleted it. No. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna come in and talk shit in my house bro <laughs> you want to do that go ahead and do it on your own fucking communication line. <laughs> oh, man. but it reminds me i mean on, on a side note it reminds me of something we spoke about last night and i don't really know if you you want to address it or get into it but you spoke we sort of spoke about you know these guys who talk shit about pickup and these sort of coaches and Yet, they're still trying to make money off of pickup. They're still trying to be interactive and post in pickup groups, although they have this sort of anti-pickup, you know, sort of like, you know, this whole anti-pickup shit. But yet, they're still posting in pickup groups. So, it just amazes me how these guys talk the shit, but they still want to be interactive in, in these pickup groups. So, I, I don't get the, the hypocrisy, you know, I don't get the fucking hypocrisy. Well, it's just because they see, the, opportun- they see the, the opportunity, you know, and it's like, that's, it, you know, um, this is something I wanted to talk a little bit about, too, and, and I'm, I'm going to tie this into exactly what you're saying about the, the hypocrisy. But, like, on Christmas Day, in my group, I asked, I said, who's the greatest PUA? And I got, like, 150 comments and it was like World War Three in there, you know. <laughs> you got like, <laughs> like chodes versus chodes. <laughs> so, so then um, that day on Christmas Day, that's when Arash gave. Uh, he was actually doing a lecture with Vince Kelvin in Hollywood, and ironically, that same day, Arash awarded Vince Kelvin. The greatest pickup artist of 2015 because ah, in, Vince. yeah and and well i mean he's he's a fucking beast dude he's a fucking beast like i wow dude so like that, yeah. that so he gave him that and then uh, uh i guess like uh, there was like a an ultimatum that was given to me with my former uh, co-host he made a video in my group and he was like if if arash malachi and akito are still in this group I will no longer be a part of it. And wow. so, yeah, so he, he put up an ultimatum in my group. Like, in other words, it's like, and then he tells me in the video, he's like, oh, well, you know, David, brother, you know, David, you, uh, I'm sorry, David, you've been nothing but a brother to me. You know, uh, I, re- I respect you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, well, dude, it's like, if you respected me, you would have removed yourself and then mm. carried that message elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like not put you on a spot like that. That's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. So then it's like, and then I got a lot of hate. Oh, dude, I got a ton of hate mail. Like, like David Coker oh, wow. has got more, a lot more haters now because of that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then, um, so I got like a lot of hate mail, and then uh, and then I see other coaches who I'm, I'm not going to name, but I see them mm-hmm. posting Casanova Crew and other groups, and they're saying, oh, well, that group sucks now. Okay, so they say the group sucks, and I gotta mm. do. I gotta do on my end. I gotta do damage control, and and you know Ooh. fucking like you know restore peace and order and all that type of stuff. And that same motherfucker that's talking shit about my group and who's been vocal about like anti pickup comes into my group and he shares a video of his company, <laughs> you know, like promoting himself. So it's like, dude, wow. they, the group sucks. But you want to come in and you want to promote your stuff. Now, I let it stay because I can, how I have my group, it's a stage, yeah. like, if you're if you're qualified and you have credentials, you know, and you sure. have a history and you want to post in there, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. It's cool. Yeah, you, you let it go. I, mean, I let it go, but I, but I know. That's what I'm saying. It's like, and, it, and it's funny because, like, even one other guy, too, was trying to do, like, this whole, um, what was his, his, his whole mission was, like, you know, coming out and saying, like, oh, yeah, we need to, you know, uh, put an end to pick up, and we need to start. Oh, yeah, pick up is, yeah, fake, pick up is this. And I know who you're speaking of, I, I pretty much know. Yeah, and it's like, we, it's, we, uh, we, we need to start this new revolution, and it's like, dude, it's like, okay, you started your own thing, but yet, but yet Vince Kelvin's on CNN on, with Lisa Ling, who's a very well-known feminist, 
and putting mm -hmm. pickup in a much positive light. When, exactly. When was the so last? Why would you wanna? Yeah. Why would you wanna deviate from that when it's, it's getting put on a map again? In a sense. Stupid. So fucking stupid. And I'm gonna tell you, like, when it comes to pickup, the guys who are really fucking. And this is why, like, I'm I aligned myself with these guys. I'm gonna be collaborating, like, not as a coach, because I'm not a coach. Like, I'm more of the guy who's like, the guy who puts stuff together, who loves pick. Yeah, pick I noticed that. Yeah. You're sort of like the dude who organizes shit and, and gets shit done in that sense. You know, you sort of remind me of Dave, and not to cut you up, but you remind me of, and it's so funny because I haven't seen this dude in a while or heard from him. He's from on Casanova Crew too. He's like the help me out, help me out. Help me out. God damn. Uh, Jared, Jared Sanchez. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck happened? What happened to him? Okay, well, that's interesting that you that you say that because with uh, Jared Sanchez, he actually, he's putting out a eulogy for uh, Casanova Crew. He's, he's retiring it. And he he pretty much said in, in, in the comments that he said that made the frame be with you is the obvious successor. But... Oh. But I will say this. But that, that's Jay the Ripper. Um, Jay the Ripper, right? Jay the Ripper. Jared right. Sanchez, a.k.a. Jay the Ripper. He said, he's like, yeah, may the frame with you is the official successor uh, of that. However, though, there are people that are that are in line to take Jay the Ripper's spot. So I, I already spoke on the phone with Nate Hanniger, who says he blows you a kiss, by the way. I spoke to him on the phone today. I said, I'm going to do the show with Social Kenny. I'm so excited. He's like, well, he said, Social Kenny is a cool guy. Make sure you blow him a warm kiss for me. So, um. Yeah, yeah gay, gay ass Nate. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, Pun intended, Nate, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, so, that's, so, that's pretty much, that's that's the role that I've, that I've taken. I guess you could say that I'm kind of like the new Jay the Ripper. Although, like, Jay the Ripper was a, I guess you could say he, like, was a coach at some point. But I'm not, like, my aspirations, like, I want to do film. And, and make films. However, pickup is one of my passions. Like, you know, like people like sports, like football and, and all that type of shit. I just, I fucking love pickup, you know, to me. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. And that's one of the reasons, I mean, that's one of the things that like where me and you connect on, like, like just ridiculously is the fact that, you know, you know, I post a lot, I post a lot of stuff about pickup on Facebook and so forth. And you do the same. And it's like, you know, I'm all about pickup, if you get what I mean. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm basically all about fucking pickup. I'm not saying I don't have other passions, but pickup is what I'm I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. so I get that vibe from you also. I get the same same fucking vibe, you know. Yeah, no, exactly. Like I I fucking I love pickup. You know, to me, pickup like you know like the ultimate pickup artist convention. It's like it's like a uh, it's like an award show. You know, for like the Academy mm -hmm. Awards. You know, like I just I yeah. pick up and. My thing right now is, because now that I have so many members in May the Frame Be With You, like, just, like, actual, like, people that are interested in pickup, I want to I want to take it places with Vincent Ross because they, they set up the global SLR last September, or, or no, mm -hmm. September, October of last year. So it's like, let's make something, let's make it big. Vince is already in positive light with CNN, with Lisa Ling. He just did, yeah, he just did a show with Playboy. Arash got on Playboy as well, you know. Arash oh, is that's like huge. that's huge. It's yeah. So it's like they're 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 going play like pretty much, bro. It's like Vince and Arash are like kind of like the mystery and matador of like 2005, like hands down. Yeah, yeah. They're like exactly. They're like taking the mantle. They're holding the mantle right now. They're taking it. They're the new face of pickup in a sense, you could say. Yeah, and and it's just uh, getting bigger. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to be doing some coaching with with Arash, so I'm going to be. You know, like under him training, and when that time comes, and if he decides that he wants to have me do other stuff with coaching, I'm open to that. But I'm right now, like my commitments right now is solely with Vince and Arash, and any other coaches that are listening right now, like you know JT Tran or like other guys, they're welcome to post and may the frame be with you. Like if you know if you guys are qualified and you want to like um, put yourself out there in the group, go ahead, go for it. You know, like I, I don't have a fucking problem with it. You know, but yeah, that's that's that's. I mean, I've noticed that about you know, at least when I was in the group, I noticed that it was you know, you weren't so like like ran like a Nazi fucking camp or nothing. It was like, hey, you want to post what you're posting, 
be free, post what you're posting, you know? Yeah, exactly, and that's the thing, and, I, and, and that's just, uh, that's, that's the difference, I think, between my group and a lot of other groups now, because it has changed a lot, um, but, like, like a, a lot of other groups are very, like, strictly, like, field reports, and they're like, okay, this group's all about, you know, fucking pulling the pussy. My group's more about, like, yeah, you can do that, but if you want to share some humor and you want to laugh and you want to, like, share, like, you know, you're getting a new job interview or, you know, you're you're yeah. learning different shit, post it. Frame, it's a, exactly. it's, it's universal. Frame is, is in business and frame is in game. Life is game and game is life, as Arash says. So I'm, I, I, I just I, I couldn't be happier. I could not be fucking happier. You know, um, the group's grown significantly since uh, since Christmas Day. The activity is up and running. Members are posting video selfies. Members are connecting across the world. Um, you know, mystery's still in there. Arash, Vince, Baxter, um, uh, Hypnotica. Like I think he might uh, he might be in there as well. But yeah. So right now, my commitments are to may the frame be with you beyond the game with. Uh, beyond the game, it's another Facebook group. It's a closed group. Strictly, strictly pick up. Strictly pick up. That's. I've never actually heard of that one. Yeah. You know, but I have to check yeah. it out. What is um? It's um. What is the name again of that group? It's called Beyond the Game. Oh, Beyond the yeah, Game. Yeah, it's Beyond the Game. So may the frame be with you and Beyond the Game. Like that's like that's the that's the partnership right now. Like I've made I've okay. made a, a Rosh admin of my group and uh you know we we've come to an agreement of like how we're going to run the group and it's 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 growing it's getting better now in terms of may the frame be with you podcast that that uh i've decided that i'm going to do that how and when i don't know but i will say the only task at hand is to do bigger and better like i'm there's i will not put my name on anything if it's not better than what i did before so if it looks like shit i will not fucking do it <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So the podcast was discontinued. The uh, made a friend. Yeah. Because of the whole. Because of the whole thing. Yeah. Because of the ultimatum. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and I, I, yeah. I, I even made a video. It's like, listen. It's like the guy was really my friend and really respectful. He would have removed himself, and that was that. You know, my my whole intention was to have every all the coaches fit under one roof. You know, and that was my intention, yeah. which is good, positive. But of course, politics get in the way, and and I can't control that. I. I, I yeah, that's true, that's true. I mean, because that's one of the reasons why, you know, I sort of got alienated <laughs> from the group, to be honest. It was the whole politics, you know, and, you know, but like I said, it's just something you can't really control, to be honest, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But now, nah, but definitely I'll be back in the group by tomorrow. I'll be back. If, if I don't, you can literally... Inbox me and kick my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna be back in the group by tomorrow. Well, you, here's the thing: you do whatever you want, Kenny. I'm I'm still a fan of yours. Like I lo I love your content. Like your your shit fucking cracks me up. Like it, I'll literally like I will be watching your shit, and I'm just I'm like fuck at this guy. <laughs> like in a good way. Like and, yeah, and you give really good advice. Man. You give really good advice. Oh, definitely. You give really good advice. Definitely. I have to I have to pat myself on the show. But I mean, hey. But you know the thing is. You heard what Mike Casanova said. Oh, he's living in a fourth world country. He's recording his infield videos from a BlackBerry from about ten years ago. So, so how can how can you possibly like my shit? I mean, you know, no, man. Not when not when when squatting Casanova, you know, talks that much shit about. Oh people. well, I gotta say, I gotta say, dude. I was in St. Louis when I was listening to. Uh, so, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta get the, I gotta gather myself to say suck a nova. <laughs> I was laughing, I was laughing so hard. I was laughing so hard because you're because that's why I love you, Kenny. Because you're so real, you hold no hold bar. You're, you're <laughs> I mean, Mike forced my hand. I mean, he literally forced my hand. I mean, so that was like, and it's no love loss. I mean, I told Mike the show. I'm like, listen, let's get over it. I mean, he he deleted me. I, we, you know, I'm like, hey, listen, man, let's add me back and let's just take him from there. I accept Mike as a troll, as what he is, and you know what I mean. Mike trolling over, sucking over. Just, yeah, I accept it for what he is. You know, it's, it's no big deal. Yeah, and and you're the one that's you know? always like saying, "Come on, bro, let's put it behind us." You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> exactly, that is the thing about me, dude. Is like I feel that I'm being attacked by a lot of dudes from every angle, and I'm always the one to say, "You know what? Screw it. Let's let's just like forget about it." 
and I'm the one that's being attacked. <laughs> so, you know, at the end of the day, like, I, I, I'm not really holding any malice for any, any one of these dudes when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, even me and Mystery, we had our issues in, in the same group, in your yeah. group, and, you know, made a frame be with you. Me and Mystery had our issues there, and, you know, we worked it out. So, hey... What can you say? Yeah, I'm I'm not that bad after. No, that. no, man, you're no, you're cool. You you keep doing your thing. I got I became a fan when I, as soon as I I heard like when I was featured in the in your uh, in your podcast the first time you were talking about all the the coaches. I think it was like last year. Yeah, it was a yeah, it was a POA politics. I, so I was I was a fan. Yeah. Like even though like I came out, I said something. I was still laughing at the I was still laughing at the whole thing. I'm like I love this guy, <laughs> and I and I'm, and I'm oh, telling yeah, you, I'm, I could not be more happier that I'm I'm talking to you like right now, bro. Like I'm being for real right now, like. No, I'm telling you, same here, likewise, bro, because like I said, we were supposed to do an episode, um, a show from like months ago, yeah. and you know, it just never came off, mm-hmm. so it's so good that we were able to like, to hash it out right now, and you know, expose the <laughs> the, the fraud, <laughs> Karina, Karina Kelly. <laughs> because let's be honest here, Dave, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real with you, Dave, I'm going to, I mean, I've been real, up Keep it real. it's I'm cool, real it's cool, you. man, like, um, I like I said, I'm still friends on Facebook with Wayne Jordan. I mean, you know, I, I haven't blocked or deleted him, and you know, because I'm just like waiting to see how this all plays over, how it, how it, you know, cannibalizes. That's what I'm literally waiting for to see. Like, is he gonna make a sort of comeback? Is he gonna apologize? Like, now, what do you think? Let's let's end the the show off on that note. <laughs> okay. Like, what do you think? What will Wayne do? Okay. Like. What is he, he? He's gonna make a comeback and like apologize for the whole catfishing mystery and other guys. I mean, like, what is he gonna do from now, from here? Yeah. Well, let me see. I I'm predicting. I am predicting that he's going to. Uh, let me see. Well, first off, he's gonna relish in the in the in the in the fame and infamy and the limelight. Yeah. I yeah, because he's already doing that. He's basking in the whole, you know, fame. Yeah, thing. no, he's uh, what you call it. Yeah, he's 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 gonna write it, and he's gonna he's gonna see the opportunity to, uh, you know, like you said, ride the wave, find a way how to how to have uh, you know an advantage point, you know, with uh, with all this, you know. But uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I mean, the way that I look at it in terms of him being a pickup artist coach, it's like you just had mystery shame your ass on facebook yeah that's exactly that's like come on you could have had the dude as an ally but you know it's like look how it turned out now it's just yeah man so in a sense it's like you can be very intelligent but it can actually work against you depending on how you 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 know wow it's it's ridiculous man Mm mm-hmm yeah, so then, you know, you really have to to question certain guys on, um, you know, intelligent level when it comes to certain matters. But um, anyway, David, man, I'm going to let you go. I really enjoy the show. And, you know, like I said, man, we gel like, you know, we go way back. Yeah. So. yeah. No, we do, man. And then uh, I just want to give another shout out to, to, to Boris Cohen. And uh, I'll, actually, I want to give I want to give him some love. Because I know that guy gets, uh, you know, he gets, a lot of, he gets a lot of hate and shit. But I will say... The motherfucker keeps moving forward, and and I and I see progress. You know what I'm saying? I, I really I I have I have, I have faith in that guy. You know what I'm saying? So Boris, if you're listening, keep doing your thing. Just you know, inward out, and I'll, I want to I want to see you be a, a fucking triumphant story, bro. The, the Boris Cohen story for sure. Wow, and it's funny how me and Boris. Uh, I mean, I'm quite sure you know that you know of our drama and issues from a few months back. You know, are you aware of me and Boris and um? Drama, right? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Well, Boris. All right. Before we wrap it up, <laughs> Boris, Boris Cohen, uh, aka Cupid Player, he had actually, he had posted a post on Facebook, um, from to a link on RSD Nation's um blog or forum, and you know he got shamed by everyone in the world, and he knew it. He put himself out there, so. I had resurrected the post and post the link to Facebook, but in a sense, I didn't look at it as, as in I was doing anything 
that fucked up because Boris already posted the link. I'm just sharing the fucking link. So Boris took it as me trying to defame him and talk shit about him. So he talked shit about me. He made a funny ass meme about me and everything. So, you know, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to write a post about him. And I wrote a post on my blog about him saying he's the cringiest PUA of all time. And, you know, and he took that to heart and <laughs> he fucking deleted me, <laughs> blocked me. And I think he unblocked me now, but we are not friends again. So that was the whole situation with me and Boris. Gotcha. But you say you see progress. You say he, he, he's progressing. I, I see. Like, that's the, that's the thing. Because it's like, that's, that's the, I mean, maybe we can say that, like, for, like, another time. But, like, I guess, like, I was just having a conversation with this guy. And it's like, you know, like, all these PU, all these guys who get into PUA, it's like they, they, uh, they get in the game. And it's like they're so bent on pickup. But then they're, they realize that they're not happy because they see some of these other coaches that, like, aren't happy. So then it's like, okay, what am I really going for? If am I going for happiness or if, I, if I'm going for game? And I guess, the, I mean, my, my solution is find somebody who's qualified and can show that he can do both. But I will say there's a, there's a lot of people, I mean, in the game that are just fucked up. It's the truth. True, true. And a lot of us start out that way because, I mean, I tell a lot of guys, hey, I said, listen, I was totally antisocial growing up. I mean, listen, I was like the worst. I couldn't imagine approaching a girl. I just couldn't fucking imagine doing it. I was cringy. I was weird. Every fucking thing, man. And it's so funny. Like I said, I got. I have to credit Vince fucking Calvin because, like I said, I learned, you know, most of my pickup stuff from Mystery and watching Mystery stuff and everything. But the like the intricate stuff that really took me over that hump was Vince Calvin shit. I'm telling you. Yeah. No. I'm. You know the cold reading and everything. I mean, like that shit took me over. The edge where I became, you know, I can consider myself a fucking master at this. Yeah, so so props to Vince. Props yeah, to Vince. Yeah, props to Vince, man. Yeah, we'll definitely, uh, we'll have to give a shout out to all the people that we mentioned in here. I, I, this was an amazing episode. This was a fucking awesome episode. I loved it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, man. So hopefully from now, you know, I could try to do this show more often. And, you know, eventually you will resurrect the uh, Made a Frame Be With You podcast also. You know, just to um, keep it a bit lively because, I mean, you had a good show going, man. I'm telling you. You had about how many episodes um, up to... We did. Uh, we, yeah, let me see. I think we almost went up to 40. 40 episodes. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we did it once a week. And every episode since have been pulled because the website is down. Yeah, uh, web that, website is down and website. all the content is down, which, which, which is totally fine, but... You know, I mean, if you get uh, Well, just start again, man. Just eventually, whenever, you, you know, you feel you feel the vibe, just start again. Yeah, for sure. Bro. You know, it might be on a different name, a different banner, but hey. So Yeah, good. for sure, man. I'll, I'll definitely have the show, yeah. bro, for sure, for sure. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, man, we'll catch up, Dave. Later. All right, brother. All right. <laughs>